may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video, make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. Just got done cutting the grass again for this week. I'm telling you, I'm going to be raptured on that one more. I'm telling you, the way it's going. I don't know if your all's grass is growing as fast as mine, but it will not stop growing. I cut the neighbors yesterday, I cut mine today, so hopefully this, it'll stop. Because <laughs> literally, I mean, it's killing me. I ain't kidding you. That's a lot of grass. Literally it takes me all day to do it. So that's what I've been working on since the last video I did. It's just literally getting the grass done on this side of the creek. Yesterday was that side. Today was this this over here. I don't know about you all. Have you all noticed the temperature change? It's like cold outside. It's been like that the last two nights. And then of course I come in and get on this video and Gabe starts to eat. He does it every time. He's like, hey, since we're on here, you let me... Let you all listen to me eat. There's plenty of news. Let's, let's get into it. We all know by now Trump was found guilty on all 34 charges, which we already knew that was going to happen. I could have told you that months ago before it ever took place. We know the ones that are truly awake, he ain't coming back. He's just not. They're going to do everything to prevent that. They just are. If we didn't learn that from 2020, we did. I'm telling you, we didn't learn anything. And nothing was changed after 2020. Nothing was changed, and it will be the same thing over and over. Trump was leading all the way to the election last time, hugely, huge. And all of a sudden, election night, poof, it was gone. And as I said, they're not going to release power. Russia and China knows this. That dream that Shelley had about her, his mother, uh, her mother, don't forget Memorial. Now, today was the original Memorial Day. They moved it back. That was today. Now, under her mom, her mom would have knew about today, not the ones that have been changed. She was talking about the ones that happened at the end of the month. The thing that happened today was that. That's what happened. Now, that tells me a lot. So, if God was warning us about what was going to happen today, I could pretty much put two plus two together now, and I know what happened today. China and Russia was waiting to see what the outcome of this trial was. That would tell them if America's, this group that's in, was going to allow him to ever get back in. They know now, no, just like we do. They'll never allow it. All this is planned, people. I, I hate to tell you, it's all planned. We've told you for two years it was coming. All this, I've told you, mankind's time ends around 2030 and 2031. That is where they're trying to get everything, all these 2030 agendas and all that. They know the same thing we know. It's just the people don't have a clue of what's happening. Satan's making his move. Now, China and Russia was waiting and watching. Now they'll make their move. Because they know the weakened government that we have is not going anywhere. They know it now after today. They know that Trump don't stand a chance against them. They know, they know. Now they'll make their move. Now China will take Taiwan. Mark it down. Watch with your own eyes. If you don't believe me, ask God. He'll tell you. He'll tell you the same thing I'm telling you right now. We knew it was coming because God warned us about it. He warned us what was going to happen. I know these big churches are saying Trump's coming back and all that stuff, but it's a lie. I'm sorry. They're lying. And they know they're lying. These big mega churches, these, uh, what we call, uh, what are they called? Uh, Prosperity churches, you know, the big ones on here. 
They're lying. I knew they was lying from the get-go. They lied last time, and they're lying this time. Now, God will deal with them very soon. But listen, don't be distracted. I'm not trying to be anybody who's like, well, you was too gruff the last time when you was doing a program. Listen, that's not for you. There's people on here that's riding the fence, and the Holy Spirit's trying to get their attention. Quit taking everything literally, okay? Quit being offended by everything. Stand up. Hey, the Holy Spirit's called me lazy before. I didn't get down and start whining about it. You think that, that that's gruff? You ain't seen nothing. Did you not hear what Jesus told us with the Psalms 212? You think I'm being gruff? Hey, let me tell you something. You better wake up because the Lord is mad. And he's about to lay the hammer down. He ain't going to come down here and, you know, worry about your all's feelings. It ain't happening. Not this time. That's why I'm trying to wake people up before it comes. I know what's coming. He showed us. I don't want anybody left in it. So, yeah, I get aggravated because we see the comments and people's like, oh, they still don't have a clue what we're telling them. Yeah, it's aggravating because I'm like, wake up. Wake up. He's coming. I mean, like I said, I, I know what Noah must have felt. Because he's like telling them and telling them and telling them and telling them. And they still just laugh and go on, ignore it. It's the same thing that's happening today. It's the same thing. We're going to go over a bunch of articles. Once again, this stuff is proving our point. Turkey, which will play a big role in Gog and Magog. They've never played with Russia. They've never got along. And now they're buddies and they're all going against Israel. This is prophecy. That is coming too. And Jesus said, when you see these things in the last days, look up. As Turkish dictator Erdogan, Erdogan calls Israel a threat to humanity. That came out today. Israel's a threat to all humanity. Hitler said that too, except it was for the Jews. The Knesset member urges evangelists to work with the Jews to defend prophetic. See, see, the Knesset, the Knesset member urges evangel see, evangelicals to work with the Jews to defend prophetic Israel. See, I want to get into this. I think they did the title wrong. Jerusalem, Israel, Turkey, Islamic and increasingly dangerous leader called on the world's 1.8 billion Muslims on Wednesday to unify and take action against Israel. Biblical right there. He called Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu a bloodthirsty genocidal vampire, which is what the Turkey guy is. I have some uh, some words to say to the Islamic world, President uh, Erdogan told Turkish parliament members. What are you waiting for to take a common decision? Israel is not just a threat to Gaza, but a threat to all humanity. Lucifer, if you didn't hear Lucifer in there, why? Do they hate the Jews? Because God as his chosen people. That's why. Hear with your own ears. He added, you're responsible for the genocide at least as much as Israel. He's calling for all Muslims to go kill Jews. That's what he's calling for right there. That is Hitler. Today, Oan Tao, a member of Israel's parliament, the Knesset, spoke to attendees at the Jerusalem's prayer breakfast. He urged evangelicals to stand faithfully with Israel and the Jewish people more than ever, especially in the light of the threats being made by Turkish Islamic leader. You don't think we're in the last days? You don't think the rapture is getting ready to happen? Did you just hear what I just read you? That right there, if you, if you don't get it after that, there's nothing I can do for you. He just called for the genocide of all Jews. So I want to ask you a question. What if the what is the war even about? Why are we in a war? What are the answers to this question? Why are we in a war? What is the war about? What? They hate us. They hate God. What else? Jerusalem. You're right. Protecting our people. Okay, great. Very good answers. So I think that if we want to win the war, we have to ask ourselves, what is the war about? And I think not just a practical way, not just a political way, but also in a spiritual way. How can we explain spiritually what is happening today in Israel? And I will give you several examples of to understand the question. How can you explain spiritual that President Erdogan said uh, this morning? He said, listen to that. He said that, that Israel is not a threat only to Gaza, but all of humanity. 
It was a threat to all humanity. Are you feeling threatened by that? Are you okay? Okay, I just wanted to make sure. So listen to what he said. How can you explain the cooperation between radical Islamics in the United States of America and radical liberalism in America? I mean, all these gay people who are covering themselves in Palestinian flags supporting Hamas. Good point. The devil supports the devil. I mean, it doesn't make sense, right? Because who would be first to be killed to be butchered by these radical Islamists themselves? Now, this is very important. Pay attention. It's crazy, right? But now it is happening. How does it make sense? Because, see, he'll learn him. Who did they kill? They killed gay people. And Muslims don't like gay people either. They'll kill them. They cut their heads off. But these are the ones. These people, that shows you how I'm not going to say it. I'm going to be nice. Christians, people of faith, right? Because we're the ones, yeah, we don't like it, but we don't try to hurt them. We pray for them. So I believe we don't have a lot of time, so I'm trying to make it short. I believe that uh, Michelle spoke about it before. I believe that the reason is she said God's covenant is with his people. Some people, when they look at what is happening, when they look, when you see the reality, when you see after 2,000 years of exile, the Jewish people came back to their homeland against all odds, against all logic, against all rules of the physics. Uh, even when they see the prophecies of the Bible are fulfilled in front of your eyes, they're afraid. When you came, you came to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. You came to Zion. What is Zion? Zion is the Temple Mount, right? What is the Temple Mount? What was the Temple? What was the holiest part of the Temple? The foundation store or the foundation stone? Foundation stone is the place of connection between heaven and earth. And some people, when they see that the people of Israel come back to their homeland, they're afraid. Because what? What does that mean? What's next? And he's right. That is the sign of the end of the world. That's why people are going after them and everything else to get them out of that land. Do you see what I'm trying to tell you? They believe if they go in and wipe them out, God ain't going to come back. Seriously, this is... This is what's happening. In 1948, everybody loved us, right? Why? Because when you're small, when you're weak, when you're only in Tel Aviv, go ahead, no problem, we love you. But what happened in 1967, we came back to not just to Tel Aviv, we came back to Jerusalem. We came back to the Bible land. We came back to Hebron and to Bethlehem and all the biblical, uh, biblical areas. And this is when they started to say, just a second, this is too much. You are really serious. We're fulfilling these prophecies. And they try to stop it. But if we understand that at this point, then I think, again, this is our mission. Our mission is not to just go back physically to these places, but it's also to go back to spiritually to these places also. So a lot of great points in there. A lot of great points. Now, with everything that happened today with Trump, with everything, all this junk's going on which I've tell you over and over again, it's a major distraction. They're doing something really bad over here, and they're trying to get you over here to look. Do not fall for it. Please quit falling for this. People just keep falling for it over and over. Learn from the first time. Flash, Biden gives permission to Ukraine to attack Russia. So they came out and did just what Canada and all of the other ones did. Now they've told them they can use long-distance weapons to... Literally, and now Putin's house is on fire in Russia. In Russia. They hit his house. Now, I'm telling you, people, today was an important day, and it will come back. to. I'm telling you, it's coming. You will see it very soon, I promise you. We've already seen this happen. It's playing out in real time. They're coming. I'm telling you, they're coming, and there's nothing stopping it. God ain't going to stop it. The rapture is coming. I promise you, it's coming. Wait for it. It is on its way. It is coming like a flood, people. I promise you. The U.S. is dangerously militizing, uh, militarizing the Baltic. What is happening to the island of Gotland? This is coming out. Russian Foreign Intelligence Services warned on Thursday that top Swedish military officials were uh, stoking anti-Russia hysteria, he, it said by trying to convince Swedes that Moscow has its eye on the Swedish island of Gotland, which is seen to control the Baltic Sea. Located in the heart of the southern Baltic Sea, about 150 kilograms, 
kilometers southeast of Stockholm and 250 of northwest Russia enclave of Kilingrad. Gotland has been at the heart of the Swedish anti-Russian rhetoric for over a decade. The historical background of this uh, dispute goes back to Russia-Swedish War of 1808. So right now they're fighting over the control of the Baltics. A lot of the countries, Estonia and many others, are saying, let's put a, a break in there and not let Russia even enter the Baltics. So they're going to try to cut it off. Russia is going to literally have to go in to the Sawaki Gap, which is where the B-52s was flying over yesterday. Do you see where we're going? There's nowhere to go, people. War's coming, and it's not stopping. There's no peace going to come out in the middle of it. This stuff will explode, and the end of the world is coming. We've told you. We've told you. Jesus is, I don't know how people ain't hearing it. Jesus has been warning people now for years, and they still will not listen. I know he has to be frustrated because it frustrates me, and I don't want to be here anymore because I don't want to have to keep explaining it. I'm like, can you just get us that want to be out of here and let these other ones stay here? If that's what they want, let them stay. Because I mean, I'm at that point, <laughs> literally. It's like people just won't listen. They just will not listen to anything. And it's very aggravating. Very. Listen to this. U.S. changes doctrine, flirting with the idea of a limited nuclear conflict with Russia and China. See, they just keep changing it. The rules keep changing. Now, what they're doing today in Congress, where everybody thinks nothing's happening, they're going to try to get it passed where all of our subs, even the attack subs, will carry low-yield nuclear weapons. This is their idea of letting this thing calm down. Reprobate minds. Get used to it. So they're loading the Virginia-class submarines with nuclear missiles. These are attack subs. Washington is considering deploying nuclear-armed cruise missiles on Virginia-class submarines to deter China and Russia. No, see, this is how... Okay, I'm not going to say idiots. It's how dumb our government is, which is beyond any dumbness I've ever seen. This is not ready, okay? It would take them two years to arm and fix the subs where they could take it. Now, they just told Russia and China that they're going to do this. So now all Russia and China has to do is hit us first. I mean, I'm not going to get into it. U.S. lawmakers have recently focused on how to modify the Virginia-class submarines to install nuclear launch cruise missiles. Last week, they invited Vice Admiral Johnny Wolf to discuss the complexities and the uncertainties surrounding arming attack submarines with these missiles. The discussion revolved about strengthening their nuclear deterrent against China and Russia. Whew. Lord help us. A low-yield warhead cruise missile launched from surface ships on attack submarines. What are the advantage program in the eyes of the U.S. lawmakers and militaries and scholars? These, these are our scholars. Oh, God help us all. <coughs> First of all, U.S. military experts argue this would not allow the U.S. to engage in a limited nuclear exchange as opposed to a massive retaliation. Should the conflict cross the nuclear threshold, lower yields would signal a clear interest in limiting the intensity. God help us. U.S. Navy reservist Lieutenant Adam Cummings wrote to the U.S. Naval Institute on April 2024, putting the uh, U.S. attack submarines will allow the Pentagon to maintain a broad and sustained presence in the North Atlantic, Arctic Ocean, <coughs> and the Asian Pacific. Due to the low observ availability of the submarine launchers, Beijing and Moscow will have to assume that it is laudering in place. If developed or selected surface ships as well as submarines, the deterrent effect would be greater. Balzer pointed out that deploying the, the, the nuclear weapons on attack submarines and surface ships would create an atmosphere of ambiguity. Bigger, I can't say it. Russia and China would not be sure whether which ships are nuclear or not. So no, they're just nuke us all. Do you see where I'm getting? Reprobate mines. Whew, God help us. 
U.S. lawmakers have been pushing for the program for several years, while the United States have has not deployed a nuclear-armed sea-based cruise missile since 1991. The Trump administration argued in 2018 that it should provide necessary non-strategic regional presence in the Europe and Asia and contribute to the deterrence of assurance of allies, especially in Asia. These people, do you see that they're not going to stop until they blow the world up? That's why I just said there's a beginning and an end. These fools are going to blow each other up. They are not going to stop until they get it because in their minds, you and me are mouth eaters and they want us gone. I've listened to inside meetings of these people and I'm telling you, it's disturbing. They honestly believe we are a plague and we have to be removed. The elites want the world and all of its resources to themselves. If you don't believe that, there's nothing I can do for you, but it is coming and they're going to make their move. That's why the rapture's coming. They're coming to get us out of here. God's coming to get us out. So these people can do what they're, they plan to do. And they plan to do what they're going to do. And they are not going to stop. The countries are broke. I've said it and said and said it. People just won't believe it. But I'm telling you, the countries are broke. They know they're broke. And they are planning plan B to get all this stuff done to reset everything. Okay? This is not a conspiracy. It's happening. Jesus will get us out and then they'll go through their thing and the Antichrist will hijack their plan. And he will come in and answer all the world's problems and people will flock to him like he's a rock star. That's what's happening. Global warming, everything, abortion, he's going to have an answer for it all. And they will worship him like a god. And then he will call himself God. Three and a half years in. That's what's coming, people. That's what's happening today. That's what you're seeing. Today was the hottest day in India. Recorded the hottest day ever known to man. Ever. Alaska waters are turning orange. Their rivers have been running orange. Just started. It goes on and on. There's many more things. There is a cricket invasion and I think in Nevada, and they're bringing down airplanes. If you can't see what's happening, there's just nothing we can do. But listen, we are at the end. All the end of the world signs are happening right before your eyes. Them lights that happened, that was a 500-year storm, and that sunspot is here again, and it's already starting again. If you can't see it, don't take our word for it. Ask Jesus. He'll tell you the same thing. This is the end. He's going to tell you the same thing we're telling you. You see through the comments, all the confirmations people are getting, they're getting the same thing. He's warning everybody to be ready for the rapture. And we're giving it to you. That's all we can do. Trust the gospel. First Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, future. He died and was buried, rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. Let me tell you, don't be distracted by this Trump stuff, this stuff. It's all distraction. It's all it is. That's not going to amount to anything. We ain't going to be here to see it anyway. Okay? That stuff is not going to happen. These people are going to blow each other up before that ever happens. We have Russia with subs right on the East Coast. And let me tell you something. I can prove that because I'm watching flight radar, and they've got P-8 Poseidons out there going in circles everywhere trying to find them. So they're there. Russia right now has nuclear weapons pointed right at us. And they're not dummies. They're live. Biden told him today, use our weapons to hit inside of Moscow. He told him today. Russia warned yesterday not to do it, and they went ahead and done it. They're not going to stop. I'm telling you. And they know now that this administration ain't going nowhere. They know it now. That's what they was waiting on today. That's why God warned us about this time. He wanted us to see that they, and that's the first thing the Holy Spirit told me today. They watched, they saw, they evaluated. Now they'll make their move. But you don't take my word for it. Ask God himself. And you don't have to believe us. You'll see it with your own eyes very soon. That everything we've told you will come to pass. That's why I told you don't be left behind. Call on Jesus tonight. I'm telling you, this is coming. It's any hour. I don't know where it's at, but it's here somewhere. This is judgment. It is coming. The rest of the world, just like the Bible said, they'll be marrying, drinking, having a good time. They think nothing's wrong. Damn, the rapture happens. 
And we're giving you a heads up that it's coming. It's up to you to believe it or not. But we know it is. I know I'm going home. And I'm excited. I'm about to see my family again. And it's soon. Be ready, people. I love each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.